I have downloaded the um, exercise file and I'm looking at it in Bridge and I'm going to open it up in Photoshop by double clicking on it. And now we'll show you how these selection tools will work. Uh, our goal is to take this black and white image and turn it into a color image. And so what we need to do, first of all, is make sure that it's a color image. So if you go, come up into the image menu and check on mode, you'll see that this is just a grayscale image, a black and white one. Let's turn it into a color one by choosing RGB color. All right, so what I want to do is I want to be able to paint over the top of these. Now, the best way to do that is to leave this image alone and let's work on a brand new layer. So over here in the layers palette, if you're not seeing a layers palette, go up into the window and make sure that layers is checked. Come down right next to the little garbage can in the bottom of the palette and you'll see one that says create a new layer. So we'll click on that and we have a new layer. And so we can use our paintbrush on that layer And if I turn off the little eyeball in front of the, the layer, you can see that it has not bothered the layer underneath at all. So I'm going to press E for my eraser tool. And erase that paint. Now, layers can have blending modes. Let me brush on some again and show you what I mean. So over here we see quite a few different blending modes. There's the normal mode, which uh, doesn't have any blending going on. Uh, there are the darkened modes, which take the color on this image and, and adds it to the luminance of the image underneath. And so each of the modes has a slightly different effect. The lighten modes actually go the other way. They, they lighten things up. The overlaid modes actually increase contrast for most of them. The difference, exclusion, um, subtract, divide are um, some crazy algorithms that do some pretty weird things. And then you have the modes that just do, for example, hue, saturation, color, and luminosity. We'll use color on this, and we'll be painting color over the, over the picture. So again, I will erase that. I am going to uh, get my quick selection tool, and since we're on more than one layer, I'm going to check this box, say, sample all layers and I want to select select her arm now if you get the extra I'm going to zoom in a little closer um, hold your option key down being sure not to go inside the skin and you'll see that that selection gets a little bit better. However, it may not be perfect. So if you press Q for your quick select mode, you can go in and, and finesse it with the brush. So you'll remember that the white brush erases the masking in areas that, that it shouldn't be going into. And black paint, if we press the X key, and, and black paint actually paints in areas. And so you can, you can finesse it. So using a combination of the uh, quick selection tool and the quick mask tool, I've 
painted in all the skin areas. And so now I'm going to click on the quick mask tool so that those become the selected areas. And I'm going to choose a skin color. Maybe just a touch more orange. And then I'm going to come in and fill with the foreground color. And then I'll do Command D to deselect. Now that's a little bit strong, but over here on my layer, if I turn off the background, you can see what I've painted there. Over here on, on my layer one, which is the skin, and I can double click there and, and type skin, I can then reduce the opacity. If you'll notice, I can, I can either use this slider here or I can use the scrubby slider right over the word opacity and I can drop that opacity down so it looks more like a, a skin color. And then if I don't have the, the color quite right, um, I, can, I can change it. I can come into Image Adjustments and do Hue and Saturation and I can change the hue. You see, I can make it a little pinker or a little more yellow. I'm trying to find just exactly the right one. I can even take the saturation down just a little bit. So that's the skin. Now I'm going to do basically the same thing for the other parts. Okay, so I'm going to do another new layer and I'm going to change its blending mode into color and then I'm going to grab my quick selection tool and start selecting the The shirt. Use my quick mask tool, Q, and get my brush tool, white paint, zoom in even closer, and I don't want I can hit my X key and switch to black paint and come in where I may have overdone it just a little bit. X key again, white paint. Her hair. And you don't have to be too accurate, um, just close. So we've got some of the Levi's here. That got selected.
some of the hair. Let's see how we're looking. Zoom out. Okay. A little bit of problem on... So you kind of see the idea. Um, the brush tool lets you go in and make some really fine adjustments to it. So, I am going to press the Q key for a quick mask, and I think I'll make her shirt a kind of a, a green color, and we'll do edit, fill, whoops, not stroke, edit, fill with the foreground color, and again, we can Drop the opacity on that. Command D to deselect. So now I have finished basically painting. You can see we've done a number of layers on the on the right side in the layers palette. And it does actually a pretty amazing job, that process. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and good luck as you work on the file yourself.